section 3.8 derivatives of inverse function and logarithmic uh, function logarithms so first of all let's look at this picture here uh, if f is a function one to one function then we can find inverse of that function which is denoted by f to the power negative one which is actually inverse of this function this is just a notation then there is a relation between f and f inverse and this is the relation f composite with f inverse at x is equal to x uh, you know even you change the order that will give you the same thing so whenever you try to find out the value of the function f at f inverse uh, that will give you the same thing that's the meaning of inverse so we are looking for uh, you know a formula or relation where we can find out the derivative of f inverse function that's what we want to find out in this section derivative of inverse function at the same time we also would like to find out the derivative of logarithms uh, which you might see this notation which is log base ax this one natural logarithmic function this is loz base 10 log function we are also going to talk about how to find the derivative of these three different uh, notation which is log function okay to derive a formula for finding the derivative of inverse function we are going to use this notation uh, we are going to use this uh, relation and then we're going to find the derivative of both sides with res with with uh, you know with respect to x using chain rule okay that's what i'm planning to do here let's say u equal f inverse of x then from previous uh, you know relation as you can see that f of f inverse meaning i'm going to replace this by u so f u equal x so now if i have to find out the derivative of this left side with respect to x using the chain rule let's differentiate both sides differentiate both sides if you differentiate both sides with respect to x then by using the chain rule i can differentiate uh, this function of u with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x on the left side and on the right side the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so now as you can see that u is f inverse and this is this is derivative of you know the function of f with respect to u okay so this is actually f prime this is actually the derivative of f so you can write it down like this is actually f inverse no sorry this is actually the derivative of f okay so at u u what is u u is uh, the value of the f inverse at x okay so that times this is derivative of f inverse that that's the derivative of f inverse equal one so now to find out the derivative of the inverse function we just divide both side by f inverse at u if it's if it's non-zero and that gives us derivative of f inverse at x equal one over f prime at u u means f inverse of x that's the value of inverse function at that x so by using this fact we can derive this theorem and this theorem tells us the relation or the you know the formula the derivative rule for inverses if f has an interval i as a domain and f inverse exists and is never zero if it's zero then we cannot use this formula because we have to divide by f inverse sorry f prime f prime means derivative so then f inverse is differentiable then we can find out the derivative of inverse function and the value of inverse uh, the derivative of inverse function is this okay so if you want to uh, see the relation so i'm just going to draw one thing here let's say there is a function f at point a which gives the value b and we are interested to find the derivative of f inverse function at b we want to find out the derivative of f inverse with respect to x at b when x is b when x is b this is equal to one over the derivative of derivative of the function coming from here f prime of x when x is a 
so look at here that's the difference when x is a okay so finding the derivative of inverse function is actually the reciprocal of finding the derivative of function itself uh, at you know this point which is the inverse point of a okay so let's see one example here here is the form you know function we have given we would like to find out the derivative of inverse of this function at point 620 so here is the function f that's the value of the function and when x is 5 the value of the function would be 620 so we would like to find out the derivative of this function f inverse at 620 at 620 the derivative of f inverse when you know at 620 x at 620 remember this x equal to 620 is coming from here then according to the formula this is equal to 1 over the derivative of the function the derivative of function f at x equal 5 remember don't be confused with this notation x this x equal 5 is coming from here this x equal 620 is coming from here so if you want to find out the derivative of inverse function at 620 you just have to find the reciprocal of 1 over f inverse which is derivative of f at 5 because the value of the function at 5 is 620 and that's coming from this theorem so what we need to do find out the derivative of f which is uh, f prime at 5 and if you use the power rule that would be 24x square minus 30x and we need to find out the derivative of this function at 5 so the derivative of this function at 5 is 24 times 5 square minus 30 times 5 which is basically you know if you use your calculator 24 times 5 is uh, 120 right 120 minus 30 is 90 90 times 5 is 450 so if you use calculator that's the value you are going to get so what's the derivative what's the final answer the final answer the derivative of inverse function when x is 620 is equal to 1 over the derivative of the function at 5 which is 1 over 450 so that's how we find the derivative of inverse function to find the derivative of inverse function find the derivative of function itself and find the inverse point of the point where you are looking for the derivative of inverse function okay now uh, to find the you know derivative of log function this is the standard formula the derivative of ln of u is 1 over u times du over dx okay whenever you see the log and then if there is a function of x if you want to find out the derivative of this kind of log function this is basically 1 over the value you have inside this parenthesis times the derivative of the value inside this parenthesis and that's what we are doing here 1 over u times derivative of u with respect to x so whenever you have to find the derivative of log function 1 over whatever it comes inside the parenthesis times the derivative of you know the things inside the parenthesis and uh, you know we can use the same uh, approach for finding the de derivative of exponential function uh, you know because you can go from exponential to log and log to exponential they have uh, you know uh, they have relation exponential to lo log log to exponential okay so the derivative of a to the power let's say you have to find out the derivative of a to the power let's say the function of x if you want to find out the derivative of this kind of function it's basically the same same thing just copy it times it by ln of a which is constant times it by the derivative of the function on the exponent that's the formula you have to use if there is an exponential function like this with the sum base a where a is positive then just copy and paste everything times it by ln of a times it by the derivative of the function on the exponent and that's the you know derivative of log function base a you know that's 1 over u times ln of a times du over dx you can do the same thing let's say log function base a function of x 
uh, u is a function of x if you want to find out the derivative of this thing it's first thing you know uh, you have to change this base and when you change the base it will be ln f of x over ln of a and that's how this ln of a comes okay so this is a derivative of ln f of x over ln of a this is just change of base formula if you know the property of log function you can do that and now because this ln of a is constant you can bring that constant outside and just find the derivative of ln of f of x from you know here that's basically uh, 1 over f of x times f prime of x in this case you can see that u is f of x so uh, that's the same and this is the relation between uh, exponential and log function now after knowing all these properties and then rules we can solve a problem there is another uh, relation between exponential and limit that's the definition for e now let's look at the pro some problem to solve uh, you know where we have to use derivative of log function so to find the derivative of y with respect to x you have to find the derivative of uh, ln of 7x with respect to x plus derivative of 5x with respect to x now look at here for finding the derivative of log function if you remember ln f of x this the value of f of x could be 7x could be anything the derivative of this function is just copy the function itself times it by the derivative of sorry the copy the function 1 over 1 over the function 1 over the function times uh, the derivative of that function inside this parenthesis that's coming from the formula we just discussed if you want to find out the derivative of ln f of x it's 1 over f of x times f prime of x so uh, if you use that fact here the derivative of the you know f of x in this case is 7x so our derivative would be you know derivative of ln 7x would be 1 over 7x times derivative of 7x which is 7 so you can cancel this 7 and 7 then that will be eventually 1 over x so this is 1 over x and here the derivative of 5x is 5 so that's our answer okay derivative of y with respect to x is 1 over x plus 5 let's go to another problem where we also have to find out the derivative of a natural logarithmic function there are two ways we can do this problem one is you know just multiply both sides by 2 plus ln of x use implicit differentiation by using previous section or you can use a quotient rule okay if you want to use the quotient rule just say the top function as f and then bottom function as z and now the quotient rule says y prime is equal to f prime times z minus f times z prime over z square that's the quotient rule in our case f is ln of x and z is 2 plus ln of x f prime is 1 over x because that's the derivative of ln of x g prime is the derivative of 2 which is 0 derivative of ln of x is 1 over x okay so if we use the quotient rule y prime which is dy over dx is equal to f prime which is 1 over x times z which is 2 plus ln of x minus f which is ln of x times g prime which is 1 over x over g square which is 2 plus ln of x square now if you simplify on the top you will be able to see you know like terms 2 times 1 over x is 2 over x plus ln x over x if you distribute this 1 over x here and here minus this is the multiplication which is ln of x over x over 2 plus ln of x square you can cancel this thing and eventually that gives you 2 over x times 2 plus ln of x square so that's the dy over dx okay this is dy over dx that's the derivative of this function and that's the derivative of log function like this.